players that don't have all the heroes have to make a difficult choice. Which hero is next? What do I buy next? And what is the benefit of getting a specific hero? So I created this list with the order in which I think people should be buying the heroes in BT6. Starting with Sada is a no brainer because she's a beginner friendly DPS hero. You can just place and forget the very straightforward one. Number two is Benjamin, which is needed for farming your boss events. And that's where you'll see him most of the time. Number three is Adora, another super simple DPS hero. Number four and five are Sai and Etienne, which both kind of do the same thing. They're mostly used for chimps difficulty, which even includes extra maps. Number six is Geraldo. At this point, you have probably gotten more familiar with BT6 in general, and Geraldo is one of those heroes that requires some micro and maintenance, but he fits in every type of game. Number seven is Pat Fusty, a really strong hero that can stun and stall balloons very well, but also requires some ability timing. Number eight is Azili, a lot of Moab damage, good on ABR and some niche strategies, but overall you'll find yourself not manually selecting her most of the time. Number nine is Captain Churchill, another pure DPS hero, but with a small caveat, he costs $2,000 to place and it takes a while to get this money and also takes a while for him to come online. And finally, number 10, Admiral Brickle, which is actually a really good hero, but she can only be placed on water maps and her true strength is buffing water-based towers, which we only have two of at the moment, so very limited use of her full potential.